People are always so shocked with how good they feel after doing this exercise with me. And it's like a really, really simple exercise, but it does something for us that we don't really get a lot of in our day to day life. I'm going to do the exercise with you right now. It's going to be kind of quick. I'm going to ask you some questions. I just want you to respond with sounds. Okay. No words. And don't like think about your answers. Just go like, uh huh. If it's true or uh uh, if it's not true or mm, if you don't really fucking know, take a deep breath and exhale. Did you take the breath? Are you outside? Do you have a lot of energy? Are you hungry? Do you feel warm? Do you feel cold? Are you thirsty? Are you hydrated? Do you remember your dreams from last night? Do you like what you do for money? Are you working your dream job? Are you living your dream life? Do you have long hair? you have facial hair? Are your nails clean? Can you take another breath? And exhale. <sighs> Sacral calibration complete. Now, if you did the exercise, you might as well stick around for the explanation. What we just did was called a sacral calibration. And by getting you to respond with the uh ahas and uh ahas instead of yes, no, I think this, I think that. What I'm helping you do is tap into a part of your body that is generating sexual and creative life force. So just by using these sounds, uh uh-huh and uh uh-uh, you're actually able to tap into the creative life force within you. Most people are going to go their entire lives without ever actually tuning into, "Uh uh-huh, I got uh, yeah, uh huh. I'm doing that, and uh uh-uh, uh, ew, uh, gross, get away. Because it's been socialized out of us, right? Like if someone puts a plate of food in front of you and you don't like it, but and you go ew, they're gonna be like, wow, that was rude. And then all your friends or your mom are gonna be like, wow, that was rude. You shouldn't do that again. And this fucks us up because when there's something going on in front of us that is disgusting, ew. Instead of saying ew and getting away from it, we might end up saying, oh, this is. I shouldn't feel this, but I don't want to make this person feel bad. I'll eat this food, even though it's it's kind of it's kind of disgusting to me. Do you see how much this fucks people up? And people are living their entire lives from their head, never ever connecting with their body. And you wonder why people's bodies are so fucked up. Now to take this a layer deeper, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about human design. So this is a body graph. If you don't know what yours looks like or you need a refresher, visit my website. You can generate as many of these as you want. Now we're talking about this center right here. This is the sacral. When this center is defined, meaning that it's colored in, okay, it's colored in and connected to other centers, that means that these sacral sounds, they're supposed to guide you. This sacral is telling you what you have energy for, what's going to be satisfying, what's not going to be satisfying, and what you don't have energy for. And the more you listen to it, the more satisfied you will be, the better sleep you will get at night. And overall, like your life will just feel more like you're living your life and not like you're trying to live somebody else's from up here in the head. Those types of people are called generators and manifesting generators. They make up 70% of the population. The other 30% has undefined sacrals. You see how now this sacral center is white? This means that your uh uh-huhs and uh uh-uhs, if you have this undefined sacral, are going to be like shuffled in with everybody else's uh uh-huhs and uh uh-uhs that is a part of your life, especially people that you spend a lot of time with or people that you swap fluids with. Having an undefined sacral is not an excuse to like not care about sacral energy, okay? Because you're surrounded by it. You have to come into contact with it at some point. And that's why these exercises, the sacral calibrations, are so insanely helpful. And why do you feel so good after doing them? Well, it's because you're connecting with your own creative energy, your own sexual energy. Most people are living a totally disembodied life. They're like up here in the head trying to solve everyone's problems, trying to convince everyone they have the answers and that they're certain about shit that they're totally not certain about. They're always trying to get attention for the wrong reasons. And it's just, if people just started to learn, hey, look, you don't have to fix your mind. There's nothing wrong with your mind. You just got to spend time dropping from here down into here. Again, whether your sacral is defined or undefined, I firmly believe that doing these exercises, these sacral calibrations and things like this as well, where you're connecting with the sounds, ooh, uh, mm, uh, uh, and your ability to express those sounds, the more satisfying life will be. The more of a handle you will have and a gauge you will have on how much energy do I have for this thing? Uh, don't have energy. Ooh, a lot of energy. 
Now, if you want to know more about human design, because again, this is just one of nine centers, okay? And, you know, a handful out of 64 gates. There's a lot to this system that if you just go in blind, like you can very easily become overwhelmed and be like, yeah, I'm done with this. I have reports on my website for 20 bucks, okay? So for like less than dinner, right? You can get a life transforming PDF. It's going to be anywhere between like 50 and 80 pages of information all about your body graph and how specifically to conduct experiments because this is not like a oh this is who you are like let the stars tell you who are you no 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 this is a treasure map and a compass okay i'm giving you a treasure map and a compass with this report you gotta go find the treasure but without the treasure map and the compass good luck finding anything and as a disclaimer, like if you like human design, but there's another teacher that you resonate with more or someone that speaks about it that you resonate with more, go buy their report. Don't buy my report. Only buy my report if I'm speaking your language, okay? If your sacral goes, ooh, okay, buy my report. If your sacral is like, uh, don't buy my report. Much love to you guys. Leave us satisfied in the comments section if this touched you in the right way.